The risk of death from childbirth is still very real for women in countries throughout Africa. Whether their children will reach adulthood is another worry. Rene Kaba Conde, the First Lady of Guinea, is in the United States to seek help. We need many things that the United States has. I'm thinking of the humanitarian organizations. In Guinea, children die prematurely because there's simply no equipment to save them. The First Ladies of Guinea, Mali, Mozambique, Niger and Namibia, and many more African officials are voicing their concerns for the health and welfare of the women and children in their countries. They are meeting at the second African First Ladies Health Summit to talk about issues including infant and maternal mortality, the transfer of HIV AIDS from mother to child, and problems with sanitation. Annette Richardson with the United Nations Office of Partnerships praised the First Ladies for their efforts. But she says there is still more work to be done. When it comes to having an impact on health in Africa, you're all grassroots activists for Africa's mothers and babies. As First Ladies of your respective countries, you have the influence and the networks that cannot be duplicated by outside organization. You're the one who are on the front lines that have the ability to see the effect of these pressing issues and are best suited to mobilize local resources. Emilian Raoul, the Republic of Congo's social affairs minister, says poverty is the main cause of many problems in Africa. Many people do not have access to health and education, but together we can attend to it. That is to say, with international solidarity, with private partners, we can eliminate those problems. They are not only exchanging ideas at this health summit, but also seeking partnerships from private and non-profit organizations. Some of these ladies say they hope there will be a way to measure progress in improving the lives of women and children in Africa, so the next time they meet, they will know what works and what needs improvement. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.